Welcome to Bits of an Artist Life. This is Sandy Hester. I've got some exciting things to tell you about before we jump into this week's video. This week's video, though, is about me jumping into my art goals. Do you remember two videos ago, I talked about like growing in my process and development and art goals and shared just kind of where I wanted to go with that? Well, like the next week, I just like jumped into it. I thought, Let's, let's do these things. And so this video is all about that. Me like going out, doing some of the things that I was wanting to do and just like making it happen. Before we get into that though, I wanted to tell you about two things. We've got a new podcast interview out. It's with Maria Stolger with Talking With Painters. If you don't know that podcast, you've got to go check it out. It is such a good podcast. Maria is like the best interviewer and she interviews like the best artist. Like I cannot believe that she wanted to interview me. What is so unique about this one though is that we filmed it. She's worked really hard on this video and because it's filmed, it's on her YouTube channel. So I'm going to put a link to that below. I'm also going to put a link to a couple of the videos that I just love on her YouTube channel, some of my favorite artists, but on her podcast, like wherever you listen to podcasts, it's just amazing. I listen to her podcast all the time, like over and over and over and over. The other thing I wanted to tell you about is I am in a gallery in Scotland called Morningside Gallery. It is a show with lots of artists. There's over 300 works in it and I'm part of that and I'm so excited about it. It's a small all works show. I've got, I think, six paintings in it, oil paintings that are my still lifes. And I've even like made their like promo card. I will show you here which one of my paintings is in that. So if you are in Scotland or near Scotland and want to go to that show, head over there. Make sure to mention that you know me, that you love me, all the things, and that you found out about them from me. If you're not near there, you can see the works, the whole show. The launch is going to be Friday, January 19th at 6 GM, what is it? GMT, I think is what it is. So if you go to their website, I'll have a link of that below. You can sign up and they will give you access to that online viewing when it launches. And also there'll be like a video and stuff about it. So really excited about that. All the info will be down below in the description. Okay, let's jump into this week's video. Thought I'd pick up the camera really quickly to document something in case it goes well. And even if it doesn't go well, it could go well in the future or at least be a help to you. Cause that's what I do here is document my process. So this is Christmas weekend. We are going out to a park this afternoon. Grady's gonna ride his bike and I'm going to paint. It's a park we go to all the time. So because of that, like I mentioned in some past videos, when I do these, when I go to these places where I've already painted many times in my sketchbooks, I'm familiar with them. I'm taking out paper now to paint on. So I wanted to take a really big piece of paper out. I know where we're going and the view that I'm going, that I think that I'm gonna go to. I've got like three different spots at this one park, but I keep thinking back to this sketch that I did. I'll show it to you in just a minute. A long time ago, and I've not set and documented this view again, but I think I want to. So here's what I thought. I wanted to take out the largest piece of paper that I have and if I can remember, I'll tell you the size of that paper. And if not, I'll put it here. But I have been noticing that sometimes I paint very slow when I'm out on location. And when I'm taking larger pieces of paper, I'm not getting as much information down as I want. I think I need to start setting the timer so I have some idea of time. Some of the times when Grady goes with me, I'm painting faster because I know I don't have just endless time. Not that I have endless time ever because I usually have to go to the bathroom. This, this is going longer than what I wanted. I was just gonna show it, to introduce this and show it to you, but here I am going on and on and on. But basically, I wanted to take a big piece of paper because I know the scene and the main thing is I wanna get people in and I don't want to paint them like little bitty. So I thought I, I need to go bigger. But because I work so slow, I find I'm not getting as many figures into my work as I want because those are going in last because I'm, I work from background foreground a lot of times. I need to get the big shapes in, get things down, and then work on top of that. So this is what I had the thought of. I thought, I really love this one sketch. I know where I'm gonna be sitting. It's gonna be the same view. It was a different time of year, so the colors and things like that, I accidentally like jabbed myself, um, are gonna be a little different, but that's okay. So I pulled up the sketch and I thought, why don't I go on and start the painting here this morning, and then I'll have like big blocks already there and even if I go to a different part of the park, it won't matter. Like I'll already have something down, which will be wonderful to work on top of, and will have already filled in the page. I know sometimes people 
like artists will like prep their pages and just kind of put stuff, but I wanted to put things in intentional places and already be thinking about like the foreground, middle ground, and background. Like I already popped in birds and stuff too. So let me show it to you. I really like where it is and it feels exciting. Um, I mean, I'm looking at it from over there and I, I like how it is. So I think this is gonna be a good method. I'll also, I keep looking at this because I have a piece of green and I don't wanna get it on my face. It probably is already on my face. What was I saying? Oh, I decided to tape it. I used a piece of cardboard that was from the backing of the large, uh, like an old large paper. I always save those because that kind of cardboard comes in handy all the time. So I thought I'm gonna tape it onto that because the cardboard thing that I use as my desk or like my table, it's just a big portfolio, like cardboard po portfolio. It's not as big as this piece of paper. And then I also thought that will help it like not be flopping around if it's windy this afternoon, instead of just using clips, a whole bunch of clips and dealing with all that. This will already be taped. It'll be easier to carry. And um, I feel like I have something on my face here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll see, that will be really nice if it's like it works well, because I've already done big kind of gestural marks. It's kind of getting me in the habit. What would have really been, but not in the habit, but like loosened up. What would have been better is for me to do that and then walk out the door probably, but then I would have a wet painting anyway. So, okay, let me stop jabbering, show you this. We'll see if it goes anywhere. Okay, so here's the sketch that I was mentioning. And I, I just, I really like this. I like these people on the bench and people walking in the background. But I remember even when I did this, these figures were last and I was wanting to put more figures in, but you can see how tiny they have to be because this is a small, like eight by 11 or something like that sketchbook. But this is the scene that I was kind of thinking about. And I was looking at like big shapes like this, this foreground grass, which probably that day was in shadow, this middle ground, this middle ground here, and then the background. There's a really great bridge that's there. So here is what I've done so far. I feel like it's gonna be a little glary because it is still wet, but I've got the, this big dark here, and any of this can be changed, but at least I'll have something already down. And you can see I've put some birds in in the distance, very, very loose and then right here too. And again, all this can be changed. And you can see where I started with my Neo colors. I just kind of blocked some of the area. Um, yeah, so that's the thought for the day. I'm starting to pack up. I am going to take my acrylics and do it in this smaller like Tupperware that I talked about in maybe the last video, I can't remember. And my Neo Color ones. I don't even think I'll take color pencils. I don't know, I probably will take color pencils. I probably should pack those. Um, yeah, I'll probably take a few color pencils. Okay, but that's the situation, that's the thoughts. I'm gonna go eat lunch and have some coffee and pack up. Oh no, maybe I'll go on and pack up now and then have some lunch and then we're gonna go. Yay, fun.
had my glasses on the whole time. It's not good to wear your glasses. You can't tell value ch change. Well, actually, it's not too bad. <laughs> okay, this worked out so good because I had time to get people in. You're going to see how many more people I got in than I usually do. New process. Anybody watching me? <laughs> okay, this was fun. My paint dried out so fast. I was in the sun, windy, but I know it's winter and it's like, what is it, 50 or 60 degrees out? But my Neo Colors held up. A Neo Color ones. I love when I get a new process that works. Okay, when we get home, we'll take the tape off, which will be fun. Okay. Okay, I love this. Oh. <laughs> okay, and here's my view. I mean, it never looks like great. It's not that great, actually. It's a little bit boring, but I'm telling you, once you start letting your eyes adjust, like to little things like those cones over there, where are they? I saw those cones as bike riders go by, different trees, you know, your eyes should start adjusting to things. And then like people like this will come out and, you know, run around and then I can plop them in, stuff like that. So, ooh, great day. Okay, let me show this to you before the light changes too much. And I am very excited about taking this tape off to see what it looks like. I don't often do tape like this. So that will be exciting. I do feel like this was a great process, even for things like this, like this person that I didn't finish their face. I love this. Uh, I just feel thrilled about it. This is gonna look amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm quite excited. We're gonna go back there tomorrow. If I had known we were gonna go back there tomorrow, what I would have done is taken this big piece and I could have done the background and then tomorrow, added the figures, but I do think this helped me stay loose. Ooh, I do love a good crisp edge. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, oh, happy day. Wow, okay, totally, totally thrilled with this. I mean, I love that it's packed with figures. I absolutely love this combination of the Neocolor ones. I talked about that in a recent video in my um, things that are, I've been reaching for last year. I talked about the Neo Color ones and how I've been using them. Yeah, I'm just thrilled with this. I even just love things like the lights there, all of this back here, all the figures ended up being nice and loose. Thrilled. What a great way to work. This is definitely going to be staying in my process for sure. I feel like this is the loosest, the most that I got in. I got to focus on the things that I wanted to focus on, which were like things like the trees and the figures. And I didn't like run out of time. I could have used more time there. Grady thought I was going to want more time, but the bathroom, I had to go to the bathroom so stinking bad. So we were only there for an hour. Even things like this, like a shadow of a figure or like just the outline, I love a mixture of figures like this and then more like filled in figures. I just think it works really well. Okay, so happy, great day out. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning, the day after Christmas, I think, yes. I wanted to give you an update on this process because there's several steps going on that I've been thinking about and going to be working on today. So the day after I went to that park, I wanted to go back the next day and paint again because I loved how that painting turned out. I loved the whole experience. I loved painting bigger, but we had some unexpected weather come in and it rained all day. So I thought, well, I still want to paint this. So I decided to prep another piece of paper. I did the tape around it because I liked that look and just painted from my painting that I did that day at the park, the day before in the park. Loved how that turned out. Because of that, I wanted to go even bigger. So we had Christmas and I've been working on little things here and there, like painting here and there, but haven't been able to get back to that park. So today I'm going back. I've been spending a ton of time thinking. I was going to take out a ginormous uh, canvas. Grady got a big one ready for me and I do need to see if it will fit in the car, but I decided to not do that yet. I'm gonna do a little more baby steps because my arm is still healing. I've had some nerve damage in my right arm for like a year now that I've been trying to recover from. I'm at a really good place. And I feel like if I take a big canvas out, I'm not gonna be thinking about my body too much 
and probably mess up my arm again. So I'm going to take out a large canvas, not that large, but I'm gonna take out like a 16 by 20, pretty big still, a nice size. I'm gonna paint over an old painting. So it's already got some texture and some color on it, which is kind of nice. It's really just an abstract one that I did a long time ago from some abstract sketchbook. Anyways, let me stay on task. So I'm going to take out my acrylic paints. I'm gonna take out my Neocolor Ones, a little set of those that I have in here because I do still want to at least sketch with these, if not do some figures. The canvas is pretty textured because of all the paintings and I think when I was doing that abstract stuff, I was globbing on stuff, I don't know, but it's very textured. So I'm not real sure that the Neocolor Ones are gonna like go over that really well. I'm gonna take them anyways because I at least want to get some initial marks down and hope that those marks show through. I'm also not painting on a white canvas, which I don't know how I feel about that. It'll either work really well because it'll add depth and texture or it'll be frustrating, but you know, you know, sometimes I like painting on things that already have paint and then other times I just want white because there is a translucency that happens. I'm getting into way too much stuff. Let me stay on task here. So I was going to go this morning and this afternoon to paint, but because of prep and some work that I needed to do, I'm only gonna to get to go out this afternoon. But I have several days this week that if the weather holds, I can get out. So I'm going to do one of two things. I'm either gonna to use today to just think about getting big shapes and background, and then go back tomorrow and build on with the figures. I don't know how busy the park's gonna be. That's kind of a negative because it's during the week and in between holidays. It will either be really packed this afternoon or dead. So I don't know, we went hiking a bunch this weekend and it's just been dead, so who knows. The other thing I'm gonna, I may do, so that's one thing. I may go back multiple days working on one canvas. I'm gonna just see how fast I'm painting and all that. The other option is to set my timer. This one that I did the other day in the studio, I set my timer. I was like, okay, I'm giving you 10 minutes to get the background in. And then 10 minutes to get this in. Okay, 10 minutes. I just kept setting my timer to help me kind of like come out of like the zone. I can really just get focused on something and then I'm losing like the speed of mark making. And there's something about moving fast that you just can't replicate in the way that you put marks down and things like that. So I think I'm just gonna see how I'm feeling. My lungs are not feeling great today. I did some sanding of something and I'm feeling a little pittered out. So we'll see. I'm gonna have lunch and a nap and coffee and see how that does. If I'm feeling slow and lethargic, I'm gonna need to set the timer. So either way, I'm gonna have a great time. Whichever method I choose, I'm gonna have a great time with it. I had decided if I took out the ginormo canvas, I was just going to work on getting the background in and go back multiple days. So we'll see, I may do that later in the week. We shall see, but I'm excited about it. Taking the acrylic paints on a big canvas and we'll see what happens. And you know, the other time constraint is also that if anybody stops, because with my canvas and like an easel set up, all of that can draw more attention. You know what I mean? And then sometimes you get to talking and all that. So we'll see. I'm, almost, I'm on this tilt and I'm almost fall. Well, I have fallen over like multiple times. Okay, I need to start getting some figures in. How's this looking? I never can figure out how to do this. Okay, I need people to come around. I think that's looking decent. What do you think? Yes? Yeah. Maybe. You want me to go out there see? What? You want me to go out there see have a figure? Yeah, go run right down there. Your white shirt will be good. Be here at my shoulder. Be here in my side. Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here in the autumn When all the colors call Be the burning memory Of all 
the summer's gone Be here every morning Be the calm I feel Be the beauty I behold All the days I'm here Be here to remind me Of all the goodness I have known Be the heart that holds on tight Don't let me let it go And I hope you never doubt it. This is fun doing it on the canvas, except for like trying to keep it from blowing away. Okay, there's more people out there. I got, I got to give you all my love for all my days. Be here by the fire. Be here in my arms. I like it. Okay, that was fun. Had my earbuds, that helped too. I feel like it helped me get in the zone. Still have them on. Is that why your purse is missing? But you know, I was going to go up there on that uh, that slope. I would have been tumbling down that all the time. But, tumbling off into the lake and nobody would have been here though filming. Hello. I just got home. I put the painting up on the wall with the two paper ones that I painted and I thought we could go assess. Can't decide how I feel. I did know that there would probably be a value issue anytime you're painting in full sun like that. There's often an issue with value because everything's bright, it's hard to see. But let's just go take a look. I know there's gonna be things about it I like, probably things I don't like about it, but that's with every painting, so let's go look. Okay, so here we are. Let's see, this table is kind of in the way, so it is. It's not so easy for me to get over here to these. There we are. Um, there's a lot of things I, I, I do like about it. I immediately like the value of this and the shape mimic there's something that kind of works with that for sure i think that i like some of the things here going on in the background and the abstractness i feel like this maybe is a little more one note but i don't know i do like the way the white trees stand out and I obviously did not get nearly as many figures in there but there were not as many figures out. I do love this figure on the picnic table though. She was there yesterday or the other day when I was there also. And that was nice to observe her quickly. And I was going to put some more detail in her face, but I ended up really liking it just kind of simplified like that. And then some of these figures just really like disappear, which I think is fine. I kind of like that it makes you look a little bit and I do like these figures and how loose they turned out here. And then I had a dog and another figure here, but then it ended up putting that tree there. That's kind of nice. It feels like he's walking behind there. Um, oh, and these little guys back here, how could I forget them? They are so cute. I plopped them in at the last minute. Oh, I like her. She turned out real cute. The sky's a little darker than what maybe I would have wanted, um, but they're nice and moody. And I think having the underpainting, I meant to get a shot of what this was before I started painting on it and I just jumped into things. And I think the street lights turned out really wonderful. I love having those kind of scattered around along with the benches. It would have been nice, like especially for that one, to have gotten a figure on there. And I don't know yet if I'm going to like go back or 
if I'll just let this one be. I'll have to live with it for a little bit. Um, but let's get them in shot like this. Um, yeah, I'm happy it was a lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna go get a snack. It's the next day and I came right back to the same park to paint again and brought a smaller canvas with me today. Hello, it is the next day. I went out again yesterday and I wanted to show you what I did. So the day that I took the big canvas out, it was already stretched on stretcher bars and so there was kind of a bounciness and I couldn't really use my Neocolor ones for some reason. It was like I didn't have a hard enough surface to press on and also I messed up my arm. My arm's hurting really bad after that and I'm sure it was because I was lifting it and pressing on that nerve. So I thought what I would do, I wanted to paint on canvas again. So I found a board Board that was the size of the stretcher board that I knew I was going to stretch the canvas on. This is just like the backing of a frame that I found that was the size that I wanted to paint on. I also thought what would be nice is I could also just put this in my lap and it wouldn't be too big. If it's too big on my lap, I can't reach the stuff on the ground very easily. So I thought, well, let me see how this size works, which it worked great. I shared this on Instagram. I could not believe the response that I got. I'm not sure I've ever gotten this kind of a response from a painting before on Instagram, on my Instagram stories. So that was fun. I wasn't even sure about it when I first did it. When I was out, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, but I do love it. This guy had the best like red plaid shirt on whew, and black shorts. It was so fun to like plop him in. I do find that I'm enjoying like putting the people in, but I get so like caught up in the landscape and looking, that's what I'm used to doing, just getting s absorbed and forgetting everybody around me, that then when like people come by, I'm not even noticing them. Like at one point I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I need to start putting figures in. And there was these two cute little boys. They were like kicking the ball around, this orange ball. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get that in. I was so glad I saw them. So that was super fun. Uh, it was interesting, this painting, compared to the other painting. It was a much brighter day and also way more people were out. It was actually a colder day, but because the sun was out, tons of people were out. And it was funny, Grady didn't go with me, but when I came home and showed him this, he said, you, I said, man, it was so bright today. Like I could hardly even see. And he said immediately, he said, oh, you can tell it by your painting that it's a much sunnier day compared to the one that I painted the day before. So that was really cool. Super happy with this. All my park paintings that you've seen here are up on my website now, and you can check those out. Don't forget to go check out Maria's video interview, link below, and also the Morningside Gallery. There's some amazing works in there, and I just feel really, really honored to be part of this show and this gallery, so. And if you go in person, definitely, you know, tell them hi. Okay, that is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you back here in two weeks. Mm -hmm.